when you have to make investment decision on capital goods how do you make them capital goods basically refers to a big equipment or the plant which have life more than one year and required huge amount of investment towards the beginning of the a life of that project or an investment so people use different criteria to make investment decision on capital goods and I have listed six of them here starting from net present value to the profitability index in this video I'm going to explain how people use net present value in deciding whether to make an investment on capital goods or not so I start from basic concept what is NPV or the net present value and I have defined here and it's a very common definition you can find this kind of definition everywhere the NPV refers to the difference between the present value of an investment benefit and the present value of its cost how do you calculate mathematically I have given you a simple formula so when you make an investment you have a future benefits and some cost so when you discount the all future benefits these gives us the present value of all the future benefits and this is the initial investment that you have to make so when you sum them all what does it give it gives us our net present value of all the cash flow from that investment so and then how can we use this concept to make whether to invest or not to invest decisions and here simple rule right NPV if NPV is greater than zero accept the project and if the NPV is less than zero reject the project that's a very simple rule does it make sense to you see here I have explained you the meaning of positive NPV and negative NPV so a positive NPV means that the project exceeds its cost a project benefit exceeds its cost that's why it adds value and negative NPV means the return you get from that investment is less than the cost that you have to incur to make the investment so in that case you don't take those kind of investment so let's move on to an example so here very simple example I have a project which requires 45,000 of investment at the beginning or the today and it generates cash flow in the next five years so 28,000 in the first year 12,000 in second year 10,000 in third year 10,000 fourth year and 10,000 fifth year after that the project is gone there's no salvage value meaning there is no value of that project at the end of the period and we also further suppose that the cost of capital meaning you need capital to make an investment for this project and you are paying 10% interest on those capital you borrowed to invest in those project so my question to you is now what is NPV how do you calculate this NPV for this project so let's see if you remember the concept of NPV NPV basically means you find the present value of all the future benefits and you add all the future benefits to the initial cost and you find NPV right if that NPV is positive that means your future benefits that you get by investing is more than the cost and you make invest decision and if this is if the NPV is negative that means your future benefit is less than the cost so you don't make investment decision so this is the basic idea of using NPV in making a decision on capital investment so this is what I have exactly done right so we have a project and the cash is coming from uh, from the future uh, investment so the cash is in the first year 28,000 12,000 10,000 
uh, 10,000 and 10,000 in the fifth year, right? So how can I discount it to the present? So you know how we do that, right? So you have the cash coming in and you divide this cash by one plus R because the power is one because you are discounting one period and 12,000 coming after two years and just to discount it, you divide this by uh, one plus 10% to the power two and it discounts it. So similarly, now you can discount each of the cash flow, right? So when you discount each of this cash flow, now you have the present value of all these future cash flow. For example, the present value of fourth year's 10,000 is 6,830.13. Similarly, 10,000 that is coming at the end of fifth year is the 6,200. 9.21 so so these are the benefits so if you add them all of this as i did here so the value is 10924.3 what does this mean that means the benefit is more than the cost of this project that's why this project adds value to your firm or to you if you are taking your own investment so this project seems profitable so this is the basic concept of NPV which can be used to make investment decision on capital goods so what I want to do is let's do this in Excel Excel has a nice function called NPV that can be used to find the present value of all future cash flow. I want to emphasize here, the NPV function calculates the present value only the, fu only the future cash flow and ignores the initial cash flow in its NPV calculation. Keep this in mind. That's why when you use NPV, uh, Excel's NPV to find the present value, this is how you are going to use your NPV and the rate and only the cash flow that is coming in the future. So cash flow is starting from year one all the way to the year end and initial cash flow. What does this mean? This means and the Excel's NPV discounts the cash flows and initial cash flow doesn't need discounting. That is why when you use Excel's NPV, you have to use NPV function to discount the future cash flows and you add the initial cash flow. One more point I want to emphasize here while using Excel's NPV function that is sometimes in some years there might not be any cash flow. So if some project or investment doesn't bring any cash in some years, so you should not leave those cell blank. What you have to do is you have to assign zero value in those cells. So let's see that example that we were talking about. And here, with this project requires 45,000 of investment at the beginning, and it is going to generate cash flows in the next five years. How do you do this problem in Excel? So as I just explained, when you use Excel, you have to use NPV function and the rate and again the cash flow starting from year one to the end period and you are going to add this last period, I mean the current period cash flow. So one more thing, uh, the rate, how do you make that decision about the rate? And remember this is a periodic interest rate. So if the cash flow is quarterly, then the rate is your APR divided by four. But if the cash flow for this example is annual, you don't have to make adjustment to your rate. The rate is exactly the same as the cost of capital. So let's do this in Excel and it's switch very easy. So the way I always arrange my cash flow is as is, like I always give the information at the beginning. So the cost of capital is 10% and you are required to ask NPV and look at the period here and the cash right so starting from zero there's a initial outflow you have to 
invest it and after you invest it and you're gonna get cash inflow to you for the next five years how do you calculate so let's look at the function here actually NPV and your rate B1 is the 10% right here and all your future cash flow is starting from B5 which means from 28 to 28 28,000 to 10,000 the last period and B4 which refers to the cash flow in the beginning of the period so if you do this you're gonna get 10,924.4 which means if you make this investment then the project is going to bring 10,924.40 dollar in addition to whatever you have to invest at the beginning I think this example is simple and easy to understand what I want to do next is sometimes what happens is your cash flow does not occur at a specific equal date like equal interval right so this is a very real life example when you make an investment sometime the cash flow might come after a month after a six month after a year and a half after two years after three years so when the cash flow is not at equal interval how can you find NPV then so that's why I have an example but same example the initial investment the project requires you 45,000 and now the same set of cash flow for for uh, easiness I just brought that same example but here cash is not coming at equal interval but it is coming after a month after six months after 1.5 years after two years and after three years in that case how do you find NPV so Excel has a nice function which is called X NPV so when the cash flows are irregular at unequal time interval then you can use Excel's NP, X NPV function to compute the net present value and how do you use it remember the rate here that's a discount rate you don't have to make any adjustment that discount rate is the cost of the capital that's an APR and what you have to do is values remember this time when you use X and PV function your values all cash flows starting from beginning period including the first period like in earlier you exclude the first period but when you use X and PV you use all the cash flow including the current period and the payment debt meaning the debt each of these cash flow occur so I think uh, I can explain that in Excel very quickly here so how I did that was this so I have the cost of capital 10% and I'm required to ask NPV what I have done is instead of uh, putting this a month six month I put a specific debt for example let's assume that the uh, today is January 4 2017 so on that day you have to make 45,000 investment and if you make that investment after a month meaning February 4 2017 you're going to get 28,000 after six month uh, 6 4 2017 you're gonna get 12,000 after uh, one and five years meaning 6 4 18 you're gonna get 10,000 after two years you're going to get 10,000 and after three years you're going to get 10,000 so in this situation how do you find NPV so as I said Excel has a nice X NPV function so how you use it X NPV and B1 basically refers to this guy here the cost of capital and B4 to B9 B4 means the cash flow starting from 45,000 to B9 is 10,000 the last cash flow and comma and you use the date so date means all those date associated with the cash flow if you input these arguments in X and PV and you hit enter and you get the number which is 18,827.35 that means 
if you invest 45,000 at the beginning and the investment is going to bring 28,000 after a month, 12,000 after six months, 10,000 after 1.5 years, 10,000 after two years, 10,000 after three years, then the net present value of that investment is 18,827.35. That means this project is going to bring more cash than you have to invest at the beginning. So this is profitable. I think it makes sense. All right. Thank you for now.